would you really want to join as president other than just like represent like a cocky American and pin out the army? Uh, I think cocky is a little too exaggerated there. But as a president, whatever problems that we are faced with, I would find a way to resolve those problems because I'm, what can I say, I'm a problem solver. I mean, I've been through a lot of stuff. I've, you know, I've been through a lot of stuff that I have to solve. You know, like, you ever see puzzles? Got to do that. Okay, Maisie. Um, okay, I just want to know what all of your guys' views were on medical marijuana because it's such a controversial topic. We're going to start with Emma, and then we're going to go that direction. I think medical marijuana is definitely okay. I, most people complain about it being a gateway drug, but that's only if you were like, like a you know, sketchy person. But um, medical marijuana has been proven to work. That's why they've made it medical, and why limit people like why set people away from getting treatment if that's what works. I agree with her completely on this point. Why would you deny someone the proper treatment that they need? I completely agree with that. Medical marijuana should be completely legal in all states. Oh, I'm fine with it. I mean, you, you see all the people, you know, those glaucoma and cancer using medical marijuana, it's fine. It's helping them eat food, it's helping them digest, it makes them feel happy. It's just, I, I don't think whatsoever that it's a gateway drug, because I'm, if you want to consider it a gateway drug, that really dep depends on the person, they, whether they have an addictive personality or not. I agree with Bailey on this. I don't think we should be denying people uh, the medication they need, but I do think we should still be doing more research on it to see the long-term effects of medical marijuana. I agree with Forrest on this topic. I do agree that medical marijuana is something that all states should be allowed to have as long as we have restrictions and that we research more into it to make sure that that's something that really helps people. As a person who has <clears throat> quite a bit of experience with uh, opiates and opi opioid drugs, uh, marijuana is a very, very viable alternative to those drugs because 30 million Americans are prescribed highly, highly addictive drugs that actually reduce the amount of uh, dopamine your brain creates. And what that does is that can actually have very, very bad long-term effects, which in itself is a very, very strong gateway drug compared to marijuana, which actually does not have proven long-term effects such as those. I believe that medical marijuana should be legal as a very good alternative to certain uh, very dangerous prescribed drug drugs today. I feel like it shouldn't even be a question of whether or not I should legalize it for medical purposes. It's been proven to work. There hasn't been any real like side effects in the long term. We really need to just get this in the hands of people that need it. And I feel I'd probably go as far as to legalize it recreational. We've seen studies that have shown no one has died from marijuana usage. More people have died from alcohol. And it's really not a gateway drug. Because if you want to say it on that same merit, milk is a gateway drug to heroin. Because everyone that started drinking milk is on heroin. Like, that, or the other way around. I'm blacked out. But what I'm trying to say is, oh, it is I'm really... I really don't like his offensive slurs against mm -hmm. me. I second. We need to make this an issue and we need to bring it up now because there's no point in waiting on this. Anna, your question. Okay, I want to know everybody's views on women's rights and what it would do to improve that. We'll start with Sarah, Emma, then we'll go to um, Bailey and all the way through. Okay. <clears throat> As uh, one of the women running, I believe that women and people of different ethnicities should be treated the same as the white male. Um, women are obviously not even respected in the same ways that some men are. They say you can't lift things, you can't do this, you can't even open my door by myself. Like it's um, women's right. Women's rights definitely need to be lifted up. A person's a person, no matter how small or the color of their skin. <laughs> or the gender they were born as. I think through education, we can help the women eventually get equal pay in this country, as well as improve actually harshening sentences for domestic <coughs> violence, because most of these domestic violence cases happen because of the man. So I think we need to make it, we need to make the women have more of an impact in our country than it currently is. Well, when it comes to, uh, you know, pay-wise, 
under my presidency, women will have you know the same benefits as men. But when it comes to other rights, I don't see any other problems. I mean, we're all equal. We already passed those amendments a long ago. It's just not a big problem anymore. Follow-up question to you, Bryce. Would you allow women to work uh, to be in the front lines and in special forces? I absolutely am all for that because women enlist knowing what's what they're going to face, their specific job, what they're going to do. And if they're willing to go out on the line with a rifle and kill someone, then so be it. It's the same thing a man would do. Um, I believe that equal pay for equal work is uh, it's going to be a big part of my presidency. Uh, I believe that we need to kind of change how we've been doing things. We need to make sure that women get equal pay for equal work. Um, and as president, I will make that happen. Disregarding the uh, business of death, so to speak, I really agree with Bailey in that we need to educate and um, dehumanize the idea that domestic violence is okay. I really think that uh, the young can benefit from this because uh, studies have shown that people, when they're very young, really don't mind anybody of, of their different race or gender or whatever. It doesn't really matter to people. That's something that you learn. And I believe that right now we need to be able to teach our young that it is not okay to discriminate someone based on whatever color, whatever race, whatever gender, anything, whatever identity you are. I believe that women should have the exact same rights as anyone, no matter what they do, as long as they do the same work, they should have the same pay. Yeah, on the merit of women, I feel we need to stop looking at them as completely different because we are all equal as humans, no matter which gender, no matter if you're different, like the new genders that are coming up that people are following themselves, they uh, identify with, we need to have gender equality in every respect of it, equal pay, equal rights, equal everything, and things need to be looked at as a human basis and not a gender basis, and we need to find meaning in that. And one, one more thing, I really would appreciate if Jackson wouldn't write notes to uh, Rice, because on my own merit, I wouldn't vote for someone who can't think on his own, and I think on all these issues, we should be thinking on our own merit. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't Chance. Out. He was writing my lunch today. Chance. It's, uh, um, you oh, guys. so you're eating yes today? No, I'm eating Chance. Oh, All right. So, what's your guys' views on uh, gun control? And anybody can go, and you can go in any order. Um, I think the Second Amendment is still a big part of this nation, uh, and we still we shouldn't do anything to change the Second Amendment. But we do need um, reform when it comes to the laws that uh, surround uh, this problem. Um, now, like more and more. Like, uh, uh, weapons are becoming uh, readily available to the public, and I think we need uh, reform, reform on who can get those weapons. Uh, I feel that the Second Amendment was written at a time when guns weren't what they were today. We need to be looking at the Constitution as what it was written as, a fluid document, and we need to not change what we have, but make things modernized and bring things in with the times. Because people weren't expected to just have a semi-assault rifle and bring it into a school and shoot everyone up. That's not what the Second Amendment fights for. The Second Amendment fights for you to be able to protect yourself on your own like merit. And you shouldn't be able to just go and just have all these weapons readily available. We need tighter background checks and we need to make sure we're not letting guns into the hands of dangerous people. For gun control, I the biggest reason we split away from England is because they didn't allow us to hold our own weapons and protect ourselves. So that definitely needs to stay in our constitution that we are allowed to have weapons, but we should definitely make it so there's uh, stricter background checks, as he was saying, and the new technology such as like fingerprint scanning and make it easier for you to access your own weapon, but for no one else to. Guns kill people. Uh, uh, I'd like to point out, guns don't kill people, people kill people. I mean. The safest gun in the world is a gun not touched by a human hand. I would like to point out that uh, Jackson wrote that on the whiteboard. And I'm not, he didn't write that. Okay. Um, I believe that the smart trigger, so to speak, the fingerprint scanners on a gun <coughs> should be very readily invested. As president, I would definitely invest uh, 
great amounts of money into that so that guns are safer for people, so that guns can be used to defend